Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, My Words Last Forever. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 through 36. A Jesus said, And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity, because of the roaring of the sea and the waves, people fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life. And that day come upon you suddenly like a trap, for it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Now, this is the exact opposite of what people usually think. The everlastingness of matter has been one of this century's uh, favorite teachings. Uh, people normally think that heaven and earth will exist no matter what what. However, they too shall pass away. Jesus says, just as God himself once said, let there be, and everything came to be by his command and according to his will, there also will come a day when God will say there's no more time. People don't regard it as remarkable that God in the beginning created heaven and earth as a matter of fact, the creation isn't any more remarkable, while a tremendous miracle, than God's revelation that he will create a new heaven and a new earth at the end of time. But nothing in this world is eternal, with one exception. Jesus said, my words will not pass away. There is one thing we encounter in this life we can deal with and attain that is eternal and will always exist. It's Christ's word. Christ calls himself the word. He is the word that was already there at the beginning when the world was created. In John chapter 1 verse 14, it is written that he is the word became flesh and dwelt among us. He had something from God in himself that can never be destroyed. 1 John chapter 1, verse 2 states, The eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. We acquire this life from him through his word. It is written in John chapter 6, verse 63, The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Therefore, the word extends itself into this life and allows us here, where everything is gradually decaying, to encounter something that will remain throughout all time. To come in contact with the word and receive what it has to give means that here in this world, we receive a piece of the world that is yet to come. 
It's this world to come that Jesus calls the kingdom of God. He speaks to us about this when he says the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe in the gospel. Let us pray. The Father in heaven, you are the origin of everything we see. You hold all of this in your hand, and it exists only as long as you allow it to. However, you have planted eternity in our hearts. We have received something that only you possess. You have embraced us with something that can never pass away. We thank you because we have your word, because you allowed it to take hold of us and because we can hold on to it. Never allow us to let go of it. May it hold us firmly, even if we should want to break free. We know that your word lasts forever, and we thank you for that. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.